We're now hearing new threats from North Korea. In an interview, the senior North Korean official says the country could hold weekly missile tests and promises all-out war if the United States takes any military action. It's a reaction to the more aggressive tone that we've been hearing from President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, President Trump is aboard Air Force One right now on his way to Wisconsin, where he'll deliver his jobs message and sign an executive order on his higher American, buy American agenda. But uh, President Trump is also talking today about North Korea and his strategy of secrecy. You look at uh, different things over the years with President Obama. Everybody has been outplayed. Uh, they've all been outplayed by this gentleman. And we'll see what happens. But I just don't telegraph my moves. Did we sabotage the North Korea strike? I don't want to comment on it. OK. What happens if North Korea launches another missile? We'll find out. Vice President Pence, uh, meanwhile, is continuing his, his swing through Asia today with events in Japan. He was in South Korea yesterday. Uh, today, he talked with the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe about uh, the need for the United States and Asian allies to stick together and keep up the pressure on North Korea. And in an exclusive interview with our own Dana Bash, who's traveling with the vice president in Japan this morning, uh, the uh, vice president echoed the president's take on a nuclear North Korea. As the president says, it's time for them to behave, to listen to the world community, and to set aside their nuclear ambitions, their ballistic missile ambitions, uh, and, uh, and be willing to join the family of nations. And uh, uh, it, for, for my part, uh, in some odd way, it's encouraging uh, that they're getting the message. Uh, and my hope is that they'll continue to get the message, not just from the United States and here in Japan, and in South Korea, but on an increasing basis from China and countries all over the world that long ago committed uh, to a denuclearized Korean peninsula.